G'day, Tom o here with Adam Mad Dog McDougal for the Manshake video blog for this week. We're talking packaging. A um, lot of things to look out for in the shopping market, and pa you know we don't normally look at the nutritional panels, but it's something we should do, isn't it? Yeah, well, research indicates only three percent of us actually look at the label on a right. food, so it shows you how interesting it is. Us, <laughs> us guys, particularly, don't like reading, you know, instructions at the best of times. So it's important to read the instructions of what you're putting in your body, though, because at the end of the day, that's what shapes your health. But uh, you know, it is hard, and, and there's so much misleading information out there, and that's why they want to change a lot of the labelling laws in Australia, move to a star system, which in itself has some problems. But, you know, you see wheat bix for example, say mm. high in protein. Now, the laws around that mean that they can source that protein from anywhere. It can be crap protein, which your body really can't use, and it only has to have 10 grams of it in there. So you pick up a package that says high in protein, you trust it on face value and you go, oh, that's high in protein. But you don't realise that the type of protein it is, the quality of protein is, and the actual amount in there isn't a lot. Mm. So you're being duped and your money's being basically robbed from you. So, so all packaging, label. yeah, so all packaging has got this little, yep. you've got the Manche back here, got this little panel here. Yep. Um, and obviously the things you want to look out for really are, are sugars and carbohydrates are one of the top, couple of the big things to look out for yeah for me the, the first indicator for me sugar is a huge thing you know like a good example of a food that we all think is healthy but isn't really is yogurt a lot of yogurt you know yogurt right. in itself is a good food for you um, Greek yogurt in particular is great for your gut health, high in protein, but it's low in sugar. But a lot of the yogurts that are sold on the market are very, very high in sugars to give it the flavour. And it's cheap. Sugar's cheap. That's yeah. why we put it in foods. So for me, I always look for sugar first. The other big indicator for me is protein because I, I, you know, I tell guys, whilst at the end of the day it is calories in versus calories out, the type of calories that go into your body are just as important. So for me, I always look for sugar on the label. Fibre is another big one as well. You know, as a guy, the average guy needs to get at least 30 grams of fibre in their diet a day. Um, and most of us aren't getting that. Particularly people now, you know, as they're eliminating a lot of food groups with paleo diets and whatnot, eliminating a lot of whole grains, it's hard to get 30 grams of fibre in your diet. So look for sugar, fibre, and big one for me is protein. And the last thing I look for is the number of ingredients in a product as well. So the less ingredients a product has on the label, and not so much ingredients per se, but ingredients you can't read the name of. So whenever there's numbers, or big long words, you know, that they're very clever food manufacturers. With a, there's about 800 different names for sugar. <laughs> you know, right. we can call it agavia syrup, we can call it all these things, pretending that it's natural, but at the end of the day, sugar, sugar. There's a tip, guys. Check your labels before you pick something up off the shelf. That's it for this week. Catch you next time.